hey guys welcome back to our channel it's a girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new to this channel make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it to the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe like i said my name is funny lungu if you want to interact with us chat with us you can find us on instagram facebook as funny and jesse and feel free to send us a message you can check out my blog morning coffee with funny and i post some really uh, cool stuff motivational stuff and i feel like you guys would love it i also post short poems on my um instagram you can follow me safani l and just enjoy the content that i put out there if there's anything in particular you want us to react to on this channel drop the link below and we'll be more than glad to do it uh feel free to send us funny videos uh religious stuff uh trailers just anything you want us to react to will be more than glad to do it so today i'm going to be reacting to ami did that shuts up a christian must watch uh a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for 19,000 subscribers you guys are the best uh continue subscribing continue watching and just continue supporting us you guys are the best thank you very much i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed uh, so without wasting time, let's get into the video. Sir, uh, my name is Makbul. Mahmoud. Uh, Makbul in Riyas. Are you Muslim? No, Christian. Yeah, you see, because but, the names today means nothing. Yeah. You know, I tell you, most deceptive, you know, most deceptive. Yeah. I have come across names, Major Nasir, you think he's a Muslim, and you're talking about he's a Muslim, but he's a Christian. He is the Adu Allahu Adu Akum. The greatest enemy is trying to steal your children, but you think he's your brother. Ahlan wa sahlan. Go ahead. Okay, Makbul in Riyaz. Makbul. Yeah. Sir, when you opened your talk, you opened with derogatory remarks regarding those three gentlemen. A man of your stature, do you think it uh, behoves? What rationale do you have talking about a fellow man like that? Then also. No, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You asked a question. One question at a time. Please, if you're going to deliver a lecture, I won't remember what no. you said. No, you made a comment. Let me respond. Yes. Then you can make another comment. Okay. It's about my tone, about my voice, about what I say. Sounds offensive. I says, you know, whatever I'm talking is insipid. Insipid, tasteless. There's nothing in it. Compared to your Lord Jesus, Compared to Jesus Christ, the veritable Son of God, according to you, God in, on earth, how does he speak? He said, you generation of vipers, you snakes. He's talking to his people, the elders of his people. You wicked and adulterous generation, haram core poem. He's talking to his people. You hypocrites, you fools, you whited sepulchers. Am I right? Am I quoting correctly? Right. Look, compared to that, Ahmad Bida. Compared to that, I don't know how many marks you're going to give me for virulence. You know? How many? Compared to Jesus? Zero. Zero. Right, next question. Okay, I read in the newspaper the other day, only during this week, somebody called, uh, supposed to be a Muslim scholar, said that uh, St. Paul is Satan. Uh, I don't think uh, any Muslim scholar or yourself would call anybody, uh, any man from any religion whom we honor, or they honor, as one of the saints or as one of the apostles. Uh, you build now, shall I answer that? Look, some Muslim scholar. Mm -hmm. I am not doubting your, your veracity. But what the Christians are telling my Prophet, you know, 60,000 books have been written against the Holy Prophet Muhammad. Do you know that? 60,000. <laughs> Let me read it to you. This is your publication. This is your publication. This is your publication. Listen. Look. This is Mother Basilia Shilink. This woman is writing, Christian woman. Allah or the God of the Bible, what is the truth? This is your Christian publication. Now listen, this Molvi, whatever he said about St. Paul is nothing compared to what you are now telling us about my prophet. You see? He says, thus the two figures, Muhammad and Christ, are the greatest contrast imaginable. Jesus represents love and peace, whereas Muhammad stands for hatred and strife. Yeah. Shh, please, please, I don't want your help. I don't need your help, please. 
Muhammad said, he, uh, Jesus Ribha, he is the lamb. Oh, Jesus is the lamb. Gareeb Allah ki gaay, bakri bachka. He said, he is the lamb. Muhammad have a stance of violence. Having led wars, campaigns on behalf of the supposed message from Allah, supposed message from Allah. Jesus is the embodiment of sacrifice. Indeed, sacrifice was the essence of his life. He himself became the essence, uh, the lamb that was slain as a sacrifice for the world. Muhammad lived for his self-realization. Please, man, don't want to horrify people, waste your time. Look, Jesus, more than a prophet. This is what you're doing among the Afghan refugees. The Christians. Dear people in trouble, maimed, crippled, amputated, there you take unfair advantage of them. Look at this. 15 Muslims of the Mujahideens, they tell how they found forgiveness, raise a new life in Jesus Christ. How did they do it? Huh? And the priest was saying, we don't go converting people. Who's doing this? Huh? Angels from heaven, who's doing this? Look, Look at this. Okay, sir, you speak about evangelizing. Um... Look, the Great Commission, you, 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 so you and the Muslims. You means the Christian, you, this is the Great Commission. What, what he says? Look at this. On the way to the cross, your ship, good ship, Dulos, Logos, going and harassing my people all over the world. The, there are a hundred books here. What you are doing to us, what we have done is God, what is my witness, is really nothing, is insipid. You see? So now you are behaving like a, a, a virgin, a little girl, you know, like a little girl who has been unjustly treated somehow. When the Christian, what have you done? What did you do to the people in the Philippines? What do you do to my people all over the world? And you are talking like lambs, you know, I said, look, we mean no harm. You conquered the whole of Africa. You conquered my nation here, this subcontinent, and you enslaved us for 150 years. No? You Christian, no? <laughs> look, there's too much here. What is your question? Now tell me what no, is your question? The question is, I, I would request the just, uh, you gentlemen to kindly let other body allow. Yeah, I'll just... Uh, no, no, this is not a session of debate actually. No sir, it's not debate, just a question and I'll move away. Uh, in, uh, in Quran, the Prophet said that uh, if you don't understand, consult the al Kitab. And then he referred to Torah, Zabur, and Anjil. If, if it was changed, then the Prophet would have say, uh, you, said, you shh, shh, shh. Please, don't waste time. Find this, and I'll deal with it. Come, sit down on this side here. Give somebody else a chance. No, Give him the Quran. Okay. Give him the Quran. I, I don't know the text. Very small question, sir. Very small question. Very small. Interesting. What I like is people that come forward and actually have questions despite what religion they're coming from. Um, concerning this thing, I feel like religions have people that play victim. So it's okay for one religion to do this, but another can't do it. And when the other one does it, the others play victim or some sort of thing. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I always say. Um, respect someone's religion whether you believe in it or not um what better than that we're above uh shaming someone or looking down on someone or calling someone names because they believe uh, something totally different from us we should learn to always coexist with respect we're going to treasure what the other person actually believes in we'll be more willing to listen to what they believe in and from there we can find, I always say, there's always common ground, no matter the situation, no matter the religion, no matter, just no, no matter what case, there's always a common ground. But then if we're going to sit here and start pointing fingers, this religion says this, that religion says this, that religion does this, we're losing, we're losing focus of um, the whole point of this. Let's learn to live together, let's um, learn to respect each other's religions, and from there, we can actually learn more from each other than when we're pointing fingers and calling out people for certain things. Just because you seem different doesn't mean you're more righteous than the rest of the people. Let me know what you guys think. Um, for whatever you want me to react to, drop the link in the comment section below and I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.
but you 